Hey BMTM, I'm your host Fawn Gomes and this is BMTM Daily. In school news, are you in grade 12? Accepted into the University of Toronto and Portuguese? Please apply for the Portuguese Clubs and Associations of Ontario and University of Toronto Portuguese Association bursaries. Come down to the Guidance Department for more info. Nope. Also, Canada Post Employment Opportunities start Thursday, April 14th at 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Crossways Employment Services on the third floor, Community Room 1 and 2. For all grade 10 students, literacy test is on Thursday, March 31st. Be here for 8.30. Check where you'll be writing in the front of the office. Now to Edson with the weather. Hey Royals, currently it's 7 degrees and feels like 4 degrees. Looking at the forecast today, it's going to be going up to 9 degrees for 3 p.m. and dropping to 6 degrees for tonight. That's your forecast for Wednesday, March 30th. Have a great day and now to Eileen for some local news. Thanks, Edson. In local news, Hamilton says there are now 65 cases of rabies in both raccoons and skunks in the city. It says 46 raccoons and 19 skunks have tested positive for the virus since the first case was reported in early December. Hamilton Public Health says skunks are a common rabies vector and were expected to be found in areas where raccoons tested positive for the virus. Now to Nick for World News. Thanks, Eileen. In World News, Florida police have charged Donald Trump's campaign manager Corey Lewandowski with simple assault in connection with an incident earlier in the month involving a reporter. The police report states Lewandowski grabbed Michelle Field's left arm with his right hand, causing her to turn back and step back. Fields show police her left forearm, which appeared to show a grabbing type injury, according to the investigating officer. That has been BNTM Daily. See you all next time.